Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Easy Tiki Drinks. I'm Andy, and today on the channel, we're gonna be making a cocktail that is super, super easy. So, real fitting with the name, but I hate it. Yeah, that's right. Today we're gonna make a cocktail that is super easy, but I'm just not a fan. Today we're gonna be making a shrunken skull. So, let's do this. If you stuck around this far, you know that today we're gonna to be making a shrunken skull on this channel. Now, the shrunken skull was originally created by Mariano Lucidine, I believe I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, for the Mai Kai restaurant. Now, Mariano was a bartender at Don the Beachcomber for about 17 years before the Mai Kai hired him to do their cocktail program. So a lot of the cocktails that we see at Don the Beachcomber made their way over to the Mai Kai and were transformed by Mariano. One such cocktail is the Shrunken Skull, which a lot of people believe to be a adapted, modernized for the 1950s version of Don the Beachcomber's Skull and Bones. So let's see what we're gonna need to make the Shrunken Skull. We're gonna make it, I'm gonna sip on it, I'm gonna tell you why I don't like it, and then, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how I make my version of it, which is slightly different, but anyway, I think a modern version of what we would consider a skull, uh, a shrunken skull. Let's see what we're gonna need to make the original shrunken skull. First, we're gonna need an aged Demerara rum. Next up, we're gonna need a moderately aged rum. Grenadine. And lime juice. The aged Demerara rum that I'm using is Eldorado 12. The moderately aged rum is Bacardi 8. The grenadine is homemade and the lime juice is fresh squeezed. As you can see, only four ingredients. And when I build this, you're gonna see exactly how simple this is. So let me rearrange it and then we'll build it. So as you can see, four bottles, super easy. And actually it's all equal parts. It's an ounce of everything. So for the shrunken skull, we're gonna need one ounce of lime juice. One ounce of grenadine. One ounce of our moderately aged rum. Now, specifically, the recipe in Total Tiki does call for a aged Puerto Rican rum, which under minimalist tiki does become a moderately aged rum. And the Bacardi 8 fits both categories perfectly. So an ounce of our moderately aged or Puerto Rican aged rum. And then one ounce of our aged Demerara rum. Now again, I'm using Eldorado 12. If you get another aged Demerara rum, like a Hamilton 86 that you really like, by all means, go for it. This is just happened to be what I stock. And that's it for the shrunken skull. So we're gonna grab some ice, put it into our shaking tin. Give this a nice little whip shake for about five to eight seconds. Crack it open. We're gonna grab our double rocks glass. Now in the Total Tiki app, it does say to use a cocktail mug or a tiki mug in the shape of a skull. I don't happen to have that. So we're just gonna use our double rocks glass. We're gonna open pour right in. I'm gonna grab some more ice. All right, for a garnish, we're just gonna go with some mint and grab this, wake it up, put it right in the back there, grab our straw, and there you have it, Mario Lucidine's Trunken Skull. Let's give it a try. So this cocktail, I don't find to be overly balanced. I don't find it 
well proportioned. It is overly sweet and there's a weird interaction that I get between the grenadine and the demerara rum that makes this almost taste like a Tootsie Pop. You know which ones I'm talking about? Like the red, the red wrapper Tootsie Pop, right? You take that wrapper off, you lick the Tootsie Pop and it tastes like this like cherry chocolate. Uh, there's actually like a candy, oh, what are they called? There's like a, like a, uh, a like a, almost like a maraschino cherry wrapped in chocolate. I, I have no idea what they're called. If you remember the candy that I'm talking about, drop a comment below. Let me know what they're called because I honestly cannot remember. But that's what this cocktail reminds me of. I find it overly sweet and it's just like unbalanced and weird to me. I'm gonna give it one more try. Yeah, it's just, it's not doing it for me. Honestly, I know this is an easy tiki drink. I know it's super simple. It's four ingredients, all equal parts, but like, I just don't like it. So, can we make it better? I think we can. Will it be a different cocktail? Sure. At the end of the day, the only thing I could possibly do to make this better by keeping with its true essence would be maybe changing out the rums. The grenadine's homemade. I don't think you using something like a roses is gonna do us any good here. I could split the base on the, the citrus, but even then we're venturing into a different cocktail territory. So since I'm gonna redo this, I am gonna keep the basis of this in the sense that it's like two ounces of rum. It's an ounce of sweetener and an ounce of citrus. We're gonna keep that same type of format I'm gonna make it a little bit more complex and hopefully that'll create a more complex cocktail. I hope. I'm gonna move this off to the side. I'm gonna grab our shaking tin again. And let's try this again. First up, I think we should go with another ounce of lime juice. I think that's fine. I think the ounce of lime juice is a good place to start. It's a nice uh, tartness. So, an ounce of lime juice. Here's where we're gonna start to veer off. Originally, the cocktail calls for an ounce of grenadine. I think that's super high. I think an ounce of grenadine is overly sweet. Now, my grenadine is a two to one. If you were to make a one to one, it might not be as sweet, but I still think you're gonna get that same interaction between the grenadine and the Demerara rum that tastes like a chocolate Tootsie Pop. So we're gonna go with half an ounce. I think we're gonna cut this down by half of grenadine. And I think the thing this cocktail's really missing is some spice, right? We've got the tart from the lime juice. We've got the sweet from the grenadine. What we really need is some spice. So the original one has an ounce of grenadine. What if we did another ounce of, a, of some spice, right? So I think let's go with some cinnamon syrup, add some spice continue with that sweetness. I think a half an ounce of cinnamon is probably gonna be too much. So we'll go with a quarter. I'm gonna go grab my cinnamon syrup. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go with a quarter ounce of our cinnamon syrup. Again, I think an ounce, half an ounce is gonna be too much. So I don't think that's where we wanna be. What do I want now? I think some more spice is gonna be really nice in this cocktail. Remember, the original uh, tiki drinks were based off of the rum punch rhyme, right? One of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak, and a bit of spice to make everything nice. And this cocktail is definitely missing, the original, the Shrunken Skull, is definitely missing some of that original spice. Cinnamon syrup, we could go falernum, but I think at that point we're kind of competing with the lime. What if we went with some allspice dram? Be right back. All right, so I got some allspice dram. Now I did a quarter ounce of our cinnamon syrup so we're gonna go with a quarter ounce of our allspice dram, which I think will go a long way anyway. And that'll give us our kind of like ounce, right? Half an ounce of grenadine, quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup, quarter ounce of allspice dram for our ounce of sweetener. So a quarter ounce of our allspice dram. All right, so now we're on to the rums. We could go with a split base of rums like we did before, the ounce of the Demerara, the ounce of the Bacardi 8. But we're already at like one, two, three. We're already at three ingredients. So to keep this a little bit more condensed, we're gonna go with a bottle, I think. 
One of my favorite bottles to blend with, honestly, to mix with is Plantation OFTD. Just right here. The original recipe for the Shrunken Skull calls for two ounces of a split base one in one. So we're gonna go with two ounces of our OFTD. Not only that, but that's gonna kick this cocktail up just a bit. So two ounces of our OFTD. Let's, we're gonna put some ice into our cocktail shaker. Let's mix this up. Give it a nice little whack. Five to eight seconds should be good. All right, let me grab another rocks glass. Give me one second. Pour this in. It's a much darker color, first of all. I'm gonna add some more ice to this cocktail. All right. For a garnish, I don't think we really need to change it up that much. I think a mint sprig's fine, so I'm gonna go over to my fridge. Give me one second. Got my mint sprig. Let's wake it up a little bit. Slide that right in the back. Grab a straw. And here we have our new and improved or modernized version for our, our palette, the Shrunken Skull. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that is tart and sweet with, oh, just a bit of spice on that back end. All right, I think we're onto something here. I think this is good. So let's, I'm gonna bring these two side by side. First of all, as you can see, like the color difference is un unmistakable. This one's much more red, this one's a lot more dark. We've got the all spice dram, we've got the OFTD, and that's really gonna darken that color. So we're gonna do a side by side comparison. I'm gonna start with the Shrunken Skull again. As it dilutes, it does get a little bit better. There is still that sweetness, there is still that tartness, but it's just, it's one note. It's kind of flat. Let's try this new one. That spice is definitely elevating this cocktail and allowing it to create an evolution as you sip on it. So it definitely starts off sweet, which is cut with that tartness. That rum, especially that Jamaican rum that's present in the OFTD, kind of shows up in a little bit of funk like funkness. And then we get this back note of just spice on the back end. I think this is where we want to be. This is, I think, a much better, more complex cocktail without overdoing it. Yes, it's more ingredients kind of, right? It's still four ingredients. The measurements are a little bit different. They're not as easy as one, one, and one, but they're not difficult to say by any means. We're not going with like a third of an ounce or two thirds of an ounce here, quarter of an ounce here. It's simply an ounce, half an ounce, quarter, quarter, two. So overall, the proportions are still the same. Is this a different cocktail? A hundred percent. I will not disagree with that. So I'm not gonna call this a shrunken skull. And I'm not even gonna say that this is a modernized version of a shrunken skull. We're just gonna call it a different cocktail. What do you think we should call this cocktail? Drop a comment below, let me know what you guys think would be an awesome name. I've got one in my head, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Anyway, that's really it for today's video. I wanted to make a shrunken skull, which I knew I didn't like. And then I wanted to make a cocktail kind of on the fly, just spitballing here that I thought would be similar to the Shrunken Skull, but more along the lines of my palette and a more modernized version that I think would be more complex and a little bit better. Better subjective, so something I think would be better. And I think I hit the nail on the head with this one. So again, let me know what you think we should call this new cocktail, because listen, if you guys want to vote on it, I'm all down. We'll, we'll do voter's choice and pick a new name for this cocktail. And then we'll put it out to the public and see what everybody else thinks. 
Anyway, that's it for today's video. Let me know if you guys like this kind of side by side, like let's take a cocktail, let's modify it. If you guys do, drop a comment below, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do more videos like this. I know this is a little crowded, so I apologize, but yeah, that's it for today. I had a lot of fun with this one. So thanks so much for sticking around and, and uh, getting to this point. So yeah, if you did like this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to uh, give it a thumbs up. Head on over to the channel, subscribe, like the channel, um, follow the channel. Is that all? Yeah. Like look, click that, that little notification bell. That's what I was leaving off, right? So you're gonna give a thumbs up to the, ch to the video, subscribe to the channel, click that little notification bell. There you go. This is what happens when I make two drinks on a channel, on a, on a video. I'm all over the place. Head on over to Instagram and TikTok. Follow me there at easy tiki drinks. Uh, and until next time, take it easy.